So I have a goal of trying to get about 30 subscribers or more by the end of August. And if we do that, then we shall have a contest in September. Um, the, pri the contest will be on who has the most creative looking cage. And um, like you could have cl some clings on the outside, some background decoration, some very creative toys that I haven't seen before. Um, just a really cool styled cage for your dribbles or hamsters. I haven't decided whether I want guinea pigs to be involved because their cages are a lot different. Most people have CNC cages, which I think are fabulous. Um, but for people with dribbles and hamsters, we do the tanks and we also do the plastic and wired cages. Um, so I'm trying to decide if you think that we should have guinea pigs in the competition. You should definitely let me know and I'll take that into consideration. Um, I'd have to get something a little bit different for the for prize winners for guinea pigs because most of the things I have are for definitely hamsters and gerbils because that's what I have. And right now we're looking at um, Presley and Riley. Um, right now the hamster and the other gerbil are across the room. Right now I am getting ready to move this month, which is why we won't have a competition anyways um, this month. So this month or this next month. This next month will be a time for us to get some subscribers and things like that. One of the prizes will be the carriage. Um, I've only used it once, but I thought, wow, these things are like 15, 20 bucks, and I think this would be a really fun prize, especially for girls. And make sure that if you're under the age of 15 that you do get your parents' permission. Um, so that way when I get information like your address, and we can send it to you that you do have your parents' permission. Um, the competition will be who has the most creative um, cage. So, different toys, different backgrounds, you know, that type of thing. And just um, keep that in mind. Again, this August, we're going to see if we can get up to 30 subscribers. If we do, we'll have a really fun competition of who has the most creative cage. And um, I'll put together some more prizes. Again, that's going to be one of the prizes. Um, and we'll see how it goes from there. And again, if you think that guinea pigs should be involved in this competition, you should definitely let me know. I want at least, I need at least five okays from people, so. Five okays from five different people. So, yeah. So right now you're looking at Presley and Riley's cage. It's a complete disaster already. I just cleaned it, I think, on Monday. So, um, but yeah. Um, we're getting ready to move, so I might do a thing about how to get um, the best way to get your dribbles and hamsters on the move and things like that. Like, I already got the hamster's travel cage ready and things like that since she's the smallest. They, These two are definitely going to stay in their cage. I'm just going to have to take the top part off and then put um, mesh on top temporarily um, on their move so we don't have them running around the top when I'm trying to move them around and things like that. I want it to be very safe for them. Um, so yes. Um, again, I'm looking forward to getting 30 subscribers plus and to having a competition because I love seeing creative designs and it's really fun to see who has, you know, that type of ability to make something really awesome. And again, if you're under the age of 15, you um, make sure you get your parents' permission to do it, you know, besides that, um, that's pretty much it. And Presley is probably buried somewhere deep underneath there, or not very far, he doesn't seem to go very far, he just kind of stays around the top, it's kind of funny. Um, alright, see you guys later.